Do hate crime laws actually stop violent acts of bigotry? My next guest says no. Just last week, he was assaulted by men who attacked him because he was gay. And it wasn't legislation that saved him. It was the threat, just the threat, of a gun that saved his life. Joining me now to tell his story is the executive director of the gay conservative group, Go Proud, Jimmy LaSalvia. So, Jimmy, um, tell us exactly what happened on Friday night. Well, thanks for having me. I was... Uh... On my way home from work Friday, uh, we have an office on Capitol Hill, so I was riding my bike home, and uh, I was on the right-hand side of the road, and there were some kids on the sidewalk. And just as I came up to those kids, one of them came out into the street and across my chest, pounded me with his fist, and uh, uh, yelled a, an anti-gay slur at me. And... Um, I, I didn't know what was going to happen at that point. I caught myself and began to uh, fumble in my backpack to try to get my phone to call the police because I thought we were, so, I was in store for a fight. So when, when you were doing this, do you think they assumed, was this the point you think they assumed that perhaps you were going for something other than a cell phone? Absolutely. Uh, when I was digging in my backpack to find the phone, one of the younger kids said, does he have a gun? And so I, I just let him think that and uh, let them assume that I was going for a weapon. And that, at that point, uh, I kept my hand in my backpack and one of them started to run. And that turned the tide of that situation uh, because, you know, that situation could have turned out very differently. Do you, and, do you think you would have really have been seriously physically harmed? I mean, obviously, they knocked you off the bicycle and there was a bunch of them. Uh, right. You felt like perhaps you Well, could a couple been... of them, you know, puffed up like they were getting ready for a fight, you know, and a couple of the others were a little hesitant because they weren't sure what I was reaching for. And I'm not sure where you stood on guns before, but right. was this an epiphany for you that, you know what, we, people need to have guns, people need yeah. to have the ability to protect themselves, especially in a town like D.C. where there's really been some staunch anti-gun laws. Absolutely. Well, I've always been a proponent of Second Amendment rights and uh, uh, advocate for concealed carry laws. Um, and this just has caused me to redouble those efforts. You know, there's a, uh, uh, a chance that the Senate could consider a concealed carry reciprocity bill this year and some other uh, good pro-gun legislation that I hope to work on because this showed me that it wasn't the threat of a hate crime law right. that caused that kid to run. It was he might have a weapon, and, and that was what I think saved my life. And so that's caused me to redouble my efforts and the efforts of our organization to, uh, to promote Second Amendment rights as a way to, uh, for self-defense and protection. Well, I guarantee you, a lot of people watching now has probably helped to uh, give them an epiphany, too, about this situation. Absolutely. Glad you're Absolutely. safe, Jimmy. Appreciate your time Thanks tonight. for having me on. All righty.